Hello, everyone. All right, so I was 17 and in my parents' basement. I was with my girlfriend, Nicole, and we were going at it. We were totally, we had our clothes on, but she was straddled on top of me, and we were engaged in floor, foreplay the way you only can be when you're still a virgin. Anyways, the next thing I heard was, Archie, get upstairs now! <laughs> There's nothing like the shrill voice of your mother to kill your erection, let me tell you that. I jumped up, went upstairs, and my mom's eyes were wild. What is she doing to you? She's wild, like an animal. You must tell her to go home. <laughs> now, I know no mother wants to see their child engaged in sexual activity, but I kind of felt like this was an overreaction from my mother. First of all, we were fully closed. And second of all, I thought my mom would be relieved to see me with a girl. <laughs> I mean, my whole childhood was filled with like accusations that I was gay. I was so obviously gay that one time my mother pulled me aside and said, Achi, do you think there's a woman inside of you? <laughs> she said that to me. That's very, very hard. <laughs> um, anyways, I can't remember what the next slide. Um, Anyways, I told her that I would send Nikki home, and that was the end of the day that day. But uh, two days later, my parents pulled me aside and told me they wanted to have a talk. Now, I thought this was going to be the birds and the bees talk, but my dad said, your mother has something she wants to say to you. That's not a good sign. That means crazy is in full blast. I looked over to my mother. Why do you have to date a black girl? Oh, I didn't know that was the topic. I don't want to have zebra grandchildren. Holy-ish. I was in shock. Now, my mother had never had a love affair with black culture, but she never shown any signs of being racist either. I mean, how could a woman who immigrated from Asia be racist in America? How could anyone who got discriminated against discriminate others? I know it sounds naive, but I, kinda, I didn't realize that minorities hated other minorities. Whenever I thought of racism, I thought of the KKK and skinheads. It's really ironic, but I kind of thought racism was like a white thing. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know we did that too. <laughs> I know everyone's like white in here, I'm sorry. <laughs> What are zebra children, I asked my mother. You will have zebra children because she is black and you are Asian and the black gene is so dominant and the Asian is very submissive. <laughs> Your children and you will have such a hard life. Now at the time, I only took this at a surface level. Like, I just thought my mom was overly concerned with what other people thought and I was kind of really ashamed of her. But I didn't realize my mom was trying to protect me. She was trying to protect me from the, all the racism she had encountered. You see, to her, black people were the ultimate target of America's racism. And mixing her experience of, with what they thought, she thought was their experience just seemed like a nightmare for everybody involved. She put it really eloquently, too. She said, if you have to date outside of your race, just date white people. <laughs> That's for you, white people. <laughs> two years later, though, fast forward two years later, and I was home from college. I had not only come from out of the closet, I had busted down the door. <laughs> I was like sleeping with everybody. In a classic Asian passive aggressive move, I had my boyfriend at the time stay with me at my parents' house, and we didn't bother to play music or anything when we engaged in activities. We just let it ride, you know, sign. <laughs> when he finally left, my mother approached me. Achi? Are you, are you the gay? What makes you think that? You know, maybe you're not gay. I think, I think you really just love black women and I, su 
I suppressed you with all my anger. Mom, I said, remember when you asked me if I wanted to be a woman? And her face just dropped. It's not that I want to be a woman. I just want men to treat me like I am a woman. Does that make sense? Anyways, for the next couple weeks, I let my mom believe that I had become gay because she had yelled at me for dating a black girl. Not because it's true or anything, but because that is freaking karma. Thank you. Come on, a little bit more for my man Archie, everybody.